Hi guys, how are you today? Thank you for watching this video. So today I have another review for you. I'm going to be reviewing the new NARS Danger Control Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm just going to first really quickly get into the major details of this palette. It is $49 on Sephora.com, I, and I believe you can get it off of NARS as well. It is limited edition. It is one of their new spring releases, and it comes with six colors in the palette. You can get this right now on Sephora. They have two-day shipping if you want to get it as a Valentine's Day gift for somebody because the colors are so pretty and Valentine's-y. So when you get it, it comes in a really pretty lilac duochrome shift box. And once you open it, the palette itself also has its same really pretty lilac shift to it. Alright, you open it up and you will reveal six colors. Now the palette itself is actually really, really small. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. So just know, it's small. As you can see, the colors inside are very pastel-y, really, really good spring colors, really good for Valentine's Day, which is coming up. So the way it is described on the website is a limited edition palette with six holographic and glitter shadows for captivating eye looks with high pigment and multi-dimensional payoff. So really quickly, I want to go over some swatches in the palette. I swatched it from top to bottom, going right like this. This first color is Bionic, and it is described as a shimmering lilac. We have the color Electro, which I think is my favorite color in the palette, which is a beautiful rose gold or a shimmering golden pink. It definitely has that duochrome vibe to it. The next color is Aryan Sun, which is a shimmering pink, just a really pale pink. The next color we have here is Bionic, which is a iridescent yellow. Really pretty as well. I really like this color. Hiatus is the next color, which is described as an iridescent purple. And the last color we have here is Tonic, which is a shimmering lilac. So there's two duochrome shadows, and the rest are supposed to be a glitter finish. I'm telling you right now, if you love glitter eyeshadows, these aren't really glitter eyeshadows. It's an eyeshadow shimmery formula with little bits of glitter in it, but I wouldn't necessarily describe this as a glitter formula. Also, I don't know if you can tell from the swatches, but they do some of the colors do come off a little chunky, and I'm not going to lie, they come off a little chunky on my eye too. So now I told you some of the colors were chunky, I... <laughs> this palette is $49, and I don't think any of the colors should be chunky, or I think every color should work good, and they just don't. So, for example, the colors that I didn't really like were these two colors right here, and I was so excited for this color. But these two, super duper powdery, and you could tell in the swatches too, and they don't adhere to the lid. You'll see in my tutorial that I actually had problems like getting to stick to the lid. I just couldn't do it. So I used this color on my outer part of my lid, and it just kept coming off, and I had to keep reapplying. You have to have to have to use this wet or with a cream base underneath. Same goes for this color as well. This color I really, really enjoyed, very pigmented, and I use it all over my cheek as a blush, and I think it's really pretty. This iridescent purple color, I like it a lot, but honestly, I have it in my Kat Von D uh, Alchemist palette, so I don't really need it. Uh, this iridescent yellow color, also really pretty, really like the formula of this. And this color, a little lackluster for me, it just didn't pick up as much color as I would have liked. So essentially, I like two of the six colors, and when you're paying $49 for a palette, I just personally find that to be unacceptable. Overall, it's a really gorgeous palette, and the look I created was really pretty as well, but I really had to learn how to use the shadows. I think if I were to use this again, it would be a lot more successful because I know Definitely use these wet and or use either a glitter glue or a cream base underneath because then the colors are going to show up a lot more vibrant. If you use a white base, I think that's your best bet to make the colors come off really iridescent and really bright. Also, I almost like this more as a face palette rather than an eye palette. I really enjoyed this color as a blush color, though it would be gorgeous on the lid as well. And even though I'm not too crazy about this color, I did like it as a highlight, though it's still, it's really chunky and it just, it didn't adhere to the skin as well as I would have liked. So it did just give like a fine sheen, but you guys, this just, this isn't a very good release for the spring. I'm sorry, it's not, I'm not moved by it. 
and it's overpriced honestly $49 for six shade I know it's like bigger pans but here's the thing I don't do the same look every day so I prefer a palette with smaller pans but more color options so yeah and let's not also forget to mention that this has no dimension in the palette whatsoever meaning there's no matte shades so you cannot create a full look with it and honestly there's no dark shades as well this is the darkest color in the palette and it's really not dark at all it's like it comes out on the lid as a lilac color I can see this coming off a bit ashy as well on a person of a deeper skin tone I just you guys, I don't like this palette and I really hate to admit it, but I just don't. So let's go over the major pros and major cons of this palette. Pro, really pretty, really great for spring. Another pro, I really like this color as a blush. I also really like this for highlighting. I think you can mix a bunch of these different colors to get a cool multi-dimensional effect on your face. Cons, I think it's expensive for what you're getting. There's really no dimension in the palette at all. A lot of the colors are chalky and patchy and don't stick to the lid and you have to make it work. And I don't mind making eyeshadow palettes work, but you, just, when you're paying $49 for a NARS palette, like, they should work. This, honestly, I'd shell out the extra $20 for one of NARS other palettes because those palettes are really good. So don't think I'm bashing NARS. I love NARS eyeshadow palettes and that's why I bought this, but this is just the worst eyeshadow palette, personally that NARS has come out with, honestly. So I'd say save your money and spend your money on some other spring releases. I'm going to get into the tutorial right now so you can see how I did this look because regardless of what I had to say, the look is really, really pretty. All right, so since this palette doesn't have any mattes, I am starting off with this Milani Matte About Mattes or something palette, <laughs> and I'm just picking that mauve color as my transition color. And so I'm starting off with the shimmering lilac color over here, and I'm putting it on my lid. And I want you to see that with a brush, I was struggling to get it to show up, so I was using my finger to try and press it in, but the color kept coming off, and you'll see that later on in the video. Yeah, not crazy about this color. Now the next color I went into was this top left color and again with the brush I was struggling it wasn't showing up I wet it it showed up much more metallic and opaque and stuck to the lid way better and here I am trying to do the same with the purple that is coming off my lid again so now I'm taking the iridescent purple color and I'm highlighting under my brow I just wanted to see what it looked like really like that color and take a closer look you can see the purple falling off my lid so I'm taking the iridescent yellow color, and that's what I'm using as my inner corner highlight. Really like this color. And here's the rose gold color, which I'm using as my lower lash line color. Uh, it was kind of stupid to do this. It didn't even show up. <laughs> Again, trying to fix that purple. All right, so I throw on some lashes, and I'm going to show you what you can do with the face. So I'm taking that rose gold color and putting it all over my cheek. And I really liked this as a blush. I thought it was really pretty. I think it would look prettier with a base color underneath and using that as a blush topper. But still, again, really pretty. And I'm taking this color and I'm using it as a highlight. It's a really powdery color and wasn't adhering to my skin that well. But it still left a really pretty sheen, so I'm not going to complain. And then I went in with the iridescent purple color and I kind of put that on the tops of my cheekbones to make it more intense. And if you're curious what's on my lips, this is Rapture, the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Rapture. And yeah, that's it for the look. Alright, so that about sums it up for this video. I hope you guys found my review helpful and my tutorial helpful as well. Uh, some final points I want to get out there is that, you know what, if you want to get this palette, go ahead and get it. It personally didn't work out for me. I'm going to return it. So like I said, NARS has a bunch of other great palettes that I think you should check out and that are way better and the quality is way better. Overall, I like NARS and I like NARS stuff, but this just didn't hit the mark for me. I think they can do way better. So, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know down below if there's any other products you want to see me review. I'm going to go on and film another review. So, have a great day. Bye.